Hey, bud. Hmm? Okay, well, a little late. Broke the wipers on my big truck. So I got to do a little bit of shuffling around out here. Bring my international in. So I got to move stuff. Right, guys? Got to move stuff. And then, I think I want to try to get that motor over there. Kind of mocked up in this thing. Sound like a plan? Hey guys, sound like a plan? Let's do that. We first got to get this truck turned around though. And then uh, I got to get the drive shafts off of it so we can make room for, for the LS stuff. All right, well, let's get started. Hey, what's up with you guys, hey? What is up? What is up with you? Holy. All right, pup. What do you think? You were supervising really good there, weren't you? <laughs> okay, so now we got this turned around. It's on the hoist. Uh, plan of attack is going to be, now that I got it up, I want to get that cross member out. I want to remove the second cross member with the hanger bearings on. Maybe I can use that one. I don't know yet, but we're going to get some stuff out because I don't know how long that whole LS thing is over there. It looks pretty long, so... It, I might be able to reuse the hanger bearing mount as the transmission mount. I don't know. We'll see. I anticipate a lot of floor cutting. So I'll have to get that original pedal assembly out. And uh, I don't know. I'm not too worried about the front sheet metal. Like last when we left off, I had finished up this mount. But I don't know if this brace is going to stay where it is or not. Uh, let alone attaching to the fender. Like the fender braces and stuff. So I want to first just get the motor tucked in where it's got to go. Make up some mounts. Get it hanging. And then we can kind of get this front sheet metal where it should be. And then we kind of slowly plug along from there. I'm planning to have that all going and then eventually we'll start mocking up the box and things like that. I'll have to pull the tank out of the truck. I pulled all the junk out of the inside of this thing and it's... Uh, she's got a bit of rot in some places so... Like here, there's some weird rot, so we're gonna have to visit that and uh, pull that stuff off. Actually, now that I look at the other truck, I'm wondering if this is a mount. Should I be making a second mount? Oh, it is too, look at that. I guess I'm not done, my body mounts. I'll have to make one more up there. We got the one in the very front, but we need to have one over here too yet. So I guess, I guess I'll have to figure that one out. Dang it. Oh well, not a big deal. I wonder if I can carry off that other one and then just make a hang, an upright hanger. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Not a big deal. I'll have a look at that when it's up. Kind of figured there was more than just those two. I got the chassis there. I don't know why I didn't notice that. See that big outrigger on the front? <laughs> why, why didn't that occur to me that there's another one there? Because there's the front one. Then there's that one. Well, they're not that far off, but eh. We'll hook them all up. All right, well, I'm gonna take the sheet metal off first, then I'll look at that second body mount, and then I'll drag the other, the motor over. I gotta get the motor over here, because I gotta get my international in, because I broke the wipers, they froze, and she's got a little more power than I thought, and she popped the, uh, popped my wiper mech that I made. Anywho, let's get started.
Well, we got everything cleaned up under here. Oh, well, I didn't pull this one out because I'm hoping the tail shaft will at least sit on it. It's not, I know the cross members around here somewhere, so I'm just using that as a reference to hold stuff up. But the drive shaft's off. That is all good. 100% uh, chance these mounts aren't going to work. So I'm going to lower it down. I'm going to pull those off. And then I got the motor up here. And uh, basically pull stuff off that I don't need on it. Like I'm going to pull the AC pump off. I guess I'll just, I don't even know. There's a lot happening on here. And I don't know why it looks so busy. <laughs> it's probably just the wiring and just extra stuff on it for no reason. Anyways, yes. Let's get that down, pull that stuff off, and then at least we can slide this sucker in and see what it looks like. I forgot to mention, I was looking at these mounts, and uh, yeah, the floor needs some major work, but I kind of over gusseted this, so what I'm probably gonna do is just extend this off to here that I can bolt, and uh, I'll just sleeve it up the back of the frame like I did in the back there. Anyways, let's get that in. I'm still hoping this is going to be okay for drive shaft stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we're the next day, I bolted on my manifold to see if I can use this and it it looks okay, looks doable. It's here, it's a little tight, but uh, there can be some light there folks. Uh, come on, there we go. So it's a little tight, but I'm not sure. It might work, it might not. We'll, we'll sit and ponder it. I'm just thinking the back of the motor still got to come up a bit. Well it does because it's totally the wrong angle. But uh, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the truck on jack stands or let it down a bit. I don't know if I'm going to put it right in the ground. Set it down a bit. I want to get my drive angle right. And then uh, I think I'm shoveled back as far as I want or care. I could maybe go back a little bit more. No, can't. We'll base it on these mounts. I'm going to try to reuse these mounts. So we'll leave it as it is because this side's pretty tight so uh, yeah I'm gonna set it down get my drive angle right see what I got to cut out in the floor and then lift the body off and then we can kind of make some mounts where it's like nice and easy to get at stuff I think that is the plan
Okay, I sort of have a game plan. So this is squared up. My angle's good. It's a little, it's a little on the taller, but when the truck's raked out, this will all work out fine. The mounts, they should work. There is very little breathing room, but I should be able to make something work. And uh, same with this side. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make a cross member to hold the transmission in place, like a new brace, so that'll stay centered. These things will need a bit of tweaking, but I think I'm gonna make like an, oblate, an oblong plate or something that can go back and then we can make use of the two outer bolts from the original mount to hold her in place, which should be fine. Same with this side. It'll kind of tie in over there, kind of go across, and then somehow I'll gusset it back to the frame. That's the plan. Should work. The exhaust is like super tight, but I think if I come off of here and, and stab it over or follow the frame a little bit and then come down, we should be good. Uh, in this particular setup, see this is still the original fuel lines and stuff from the truck. So we'll be able to reuse all the stock stuff up there down to about here where we can reattach it to the frame. Then we can stick our filter and stuff like that on. So that's pretty cool. That'll work out good. We'll twist some of this out of the way, but we can go here. Then we just have minimal lines to reattach. Let's we'll put the filter in and the return and all that stuff. So that's good. Uh, we'll have to get a block off plate for the uh, that oil cooler because it's like that's what's leaking on the ground right now excessively. And uh, yeah, I think that covers a lot of this. A lot of this is just stuff that was under the hood. Like I think this is the window squirter, things like that. But anywho. We are going to start, like I say, with that. Looks like our drive shaft might be okay. I'm hoping still. But anyways, I'm going to start with, I don't know what I'm going to make that out of, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to cut across and we'll probably just bolt it to the flange right here. That'll be kind of my idea. My idea, my goal.
right. So we got the tranny cross member in. Super simple. I just had some, I don't even know what this, uh, <clears throat> looks like maybe signpost or something. I don't know. I just had a whole bunch of scrap I got. So we got that in there, bolted, three bolts. That's more than enough. I could have done another one, but eh. So now we're kind of shuffling up to the motor mount side. I'm thinking of just keeping it super simple. So I have some trimming and to do some fitting, but I'm thinking I'm just going to do some one by one in behind. I'm going to put that in place. If that makes sense. This is some one by one. We got both mounts. Uh, basically going to get it in there, held down. I'm going to zap it to temporarily hold it in to which then I can take it out and then we can kind of add a whole lot of bracing everywhere and to beef it up. But I don't know. I'm trying to keep it to the, the kiss principle, right? So, uh, yeah, I basically got to make one more of these uh, for the other side. I'm going to bolt this in, going to zap it down on the bottom, and then uh, I think we can sort of pull the motor back out. Although I do have to work on that. I don't think I have room to shuffle this thing out. But, well, maybe I'll set the body down. I'm going to trim the floor everywhere I got to to fit around the body better, or around the, the transmission. And then, it uh, looks like the back is going to work. I'm pretty close, but we'll find out. Anyhow, let's burn these in quick. And like I say, then I can pull the motor out and we can actually, actually beef that up to do something proper. <laughs> Two little one by ones, ain't going to cut it. Well, it's, for now, it's not very pretty. We do have to trim around this control arm. I'm not too worried about the center of this mount as long as the bottom is held on good. I've done it both ways, where I've either just bolted on the bottom half of the mount, or I've just had a single bolt up on top with a two by two piece of pipe slid in there. That's how my Buick is done and it's working fine, so. So we kind of have something similar, both sides. It's gonna need gusseted off the back. I do want to, maybe double up this or do something just to support the upper part of this mount. Not too concerned. And again, I got to trim this one. It's sitting right in the center of that bolt hole, but it's not contacting. Well, once I clear it, everything will have some breathing room around everywhere. So, uh, what do we do now? I guess I can unbolt that. We can lift the motor, just set it off to the side so we can continue working on the motor mounts. I guess I could take it right out. It's not like it's a big deal for now. So I think if we get those out of the way, we don't have to pull the motor out again because that'll be kind of done. Yeah, I think that's the plan. All right, well, I guess uh, we're pulling the motor.
Well, these mounts are not very pretty, but they do what I want them to do. My plan here is I'm using the stock van Silverado mounts. We just kind of cut the center out just because we got to clear in some stuff. So we're going to use just the two bolt holes. I basically built the pad for the bottom of the mount to rest on. Whether that's important or not, I don't know. But it'll at least rest on sit where it's supposed to. We can torque those suckers down. They'd be good. So we got both mounts are done. I mean, whatever. It's a motor mount. In the end, it doesn't have to be that fancy. It can be, but you know what? When everything's in there, you ain't going to see none of it. So <laughs> it's good enough. So anyways, we got those done. I think uh, what I'm going to do is drop the cab, make those other two mounts that I need to do. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Then we're going to lift the cab off and I'm just going to put the motor in and the motor should be pretty permanent after that. Uh, and then we can finish welding up the rest of the mounts. So seeing how I boboed, I got to make them. The easiest for me is almost this thing can just get extended off. The hole can go in and then I'll just have an upper support coming to it off the side. I don't know. Makes sense. Again, keep it simple. And then uh, we can pull the cab off, weld up all these mounts and put the cab down. And I don't know, technically, once I clearance for the transmission and stuff, we are golden. I guess it crushed down right here. I guess some of these spot wells just let go. Yeah, you can see the floor. See how when I was doing my thing, she kind of she kind of clunked down here. I guess this needs to go up and needs to be uh, welded back to the floor. And then, yeah, these aren't very strong, but we'll, we'll rebuild up the floor after. But for now, let's just make the mounts and then put the motor in. I think that's the plan. I dropped it down. I didn't show what I did, but it was pretty simple. I just made a simple mount like this here with the hole. It's, I don't even think I need any bracing. I might, I don't even think I need to do anything. Maybe I'll do a corner brace under here yet. And then maybe I'll just tie it back over just a little bit, just for the heck of it. I don't see a need for it, but for now I'm gonna go burn through everything, get everything all welded up. These welded up, do my gussets and stuff. I'll weld up my front cross member mount. And uh, I think she's pretty much ready to drop the motor in. The, uh, drop the motor. Well, I'll clearance the firewall first. Drop motor in, then we'll open up the back how much I need to, to get the transmission to clear properly. And then we can bolt her up permanently. Or semi-permanently. <laughs>
So we got everything burned in down here. So the rear mount, front mount, that mount. I don't know, I didn't bother with gussets. There's so much weld on here on these parts. I'm uh, really not worried that it's gonna go anywhere. Our front member's all welded in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna bring this cab down. I want to blindly relief this a little more. So I'm gonna just plasma here and just up a little bit higher than the original. Because it was pretty close, it was a little tight, so I want to just give it a little bit of breathing room. So yeah, I'm just going to up, over, around. Mostly because the, the piece that's supposed to go over it is pretty, pretty rough and rotten anyways. So we'll figure something out after the fact. We'll get that thing off. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't think we need a lot. But I can always lift the cab back off if, it's, if I screwed up. Because I can get the motor back in. I just knew it was a little tight around this here and here so I don't need too much but back here we're gonna need some relieving around this area but that's not too big of a deal anywho I'm gonna get it down get the plasma do a quick slice and dice there and uh, we won't cut too much at first we'll just see how it is put this motor back in bolt her in and uh, well I guess just keep plugging away I want to get the cab on here and actually bolt it down with the motor sitting in for its uh, final time too. I know it isn't glorified, but this is just a, it's kind of just a beater build, so we don't have to make everything all fancy. At least I don't want to. I did that already just on my last build and I'm kind of burned out with that. <laughs> I just want this to be function and just be a good driver. That's the idea to this thing. Well, from this angle, those motor mounts look pretty nice. <laughs> Couldn't even tell. The motor is a little bit over this way. I did mount it over a little crooked, only because to give myself a little bit of breathing room when it comes to the steering. So it's not much, it's about half an inch, three quarter of an inch over. So nobody's gonna notice. So that's not a big deal. I guess next thing on the slate is, uh, well, I guess we're just gonna test fit the front sheet metal. We'll see what we got for radiator room and then uh, where our front cradle is gonna go. But uh, so far it's sitting pretty good. I guess we'll get the fenders on and we can kind of see how it's, uh, how the suspension is kind of settled with all of that stuff.
Well, this is going to work out really well. I, it's not quite enough room for the mechanical fan, which is fine. I could actually scoot this up and get it closer to where it's supposed to be, which is kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might leave it just for the ease of running the hoses and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is going to work out pretty good. So I've undone and moved some stuff. Like some of this is kind of cool, <laughs> I guess. The motor came out of a van, so that's why everything's like extra long on it. But we got there. We opened up the inside. So this is not too bad. I think I need a little more room, but for the most part, I didn't murder up the opening too much. Uh, like these hoses, if I can move them a little bit, we're gonna be golden. Uh, I don't know if you can see, maybe. There we go. See, these are my fuel lines, and they're, they're a little tight. I'd like to move them over a bit. I don't know if I have to cut this. I think I just gotta move them down and reroute them a little bit. But back here, you can see we're hitting, so I don't think I need much. I think I just got to do a small relief on top and this cover I have to, to redo because it's not going to work for most of this hump. <laughs> it's, uh, I guess some of it would work if I revamped it like that. But at what point do I just make a new one? Right? So we got to clearance that. Move some other stuff. Get rid of most of the wiring. We're changing the gauges out because we don't have any of the senders and it's a mechanical speedo. So we're gonna put in like my typical electric gauges that I always run. Uh, we'll make a backing for it and kind of stick them in. But hey, look at that, eh? Not too shabby, doesn't sit too low. That's my always my fear. I don't like setting stuff up too low because well, it's easier to lower a vehicle than it is to raise it if you get it too low. So uh, I have it here. It's got a nice stance. If you want to go lower, we can like cut a coil or uh, you could put drops. You could do whatever a feller wants. So for now, this is pretty good as it is. But I think we did pretty good for this round. Right, bud? Yeah. So I think this is where we're going to call this one. I think next round we're going to get these front sheet metal fully mounted and stuff. Uh, yeah, probably start working on the box section. It's coming along pretty good. But anyways, as always, folks, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.